What is going on, Cigar Club family? We are here at the Rodriguez Cigar Factory where we've been hanging out all day, today, yesterday, and tomorrow. And uh, we've got something really special in front of us. There's a lot of tobacco on this table. Uh, there's some blends that Danny's prepped uh, this past week. And we're gonna dive into a lot of blending talk and just discussion of how different tobaccos and primings and seed lines affect blend. Danny's gonna give us the full walkthrough. Uh, and then we've got stuff to smoke to see the differences. Um, we're talking about some really cool new projects, one in particular um, that will re remain nameless. Uh, but this is kind of just the starting process of how um, we'll be piecing that cigar together. So to the master, I throw it and tell us a little bit more about what we're doing well, here. you know, in the, during the blending process, we have to lay out exactly everything that we're working with. And what we have here is a Lajero, a Bissell, and a Seckle, binder, wrapper. Okay. Okay. We have Nicaraguan, Corojo, Mestali, all right? Habano, 2000 from Ecuador. Ecuadorian Connecticut. Okay. So we have a couple of the different. And that is. This is the second. That's the second. Okay. All from Nicaragua. Oh, they're all from Nicaragua. All cool. from Nicaragua, different regions. Great. Okay. Nestle. Uh, Jalapa. Beautiful. Okay. So now during the tour, we discussed blending and, you know, yep. how do we allow these leaves to now bring their function and responsibility to the table. Well, we all know the Harrow is strength and flavor, viso, flavor and aroma, seco, flavor and combustion, right? Yep. So when we're blending these cigars, and what I have here is a Panatella, and as you'll see, put this down. As you'll see here, open that up. And a Panatella is the size. Correct. And you'll see that there's loaded mold here, yep. the Panatellas, but these slots carry two and a half leaves total to make that size. In the filler. In the filler. Cool. And we wrap with a binder. Yep. Okay. So this right here carries a blend of half a Lajero, one full leaf, and one full leaf. So half Lajero, full leaf Viso, full leaf Seco. Okay. Right in here. To make it mild to medium. Yep. To make the same size stronger, all right? Off the top of your head, what do you think we need to do? Uh, probably swap to a full leaf Lajero, full leaf Viso, half leaf Seco. That could be an option. Be probably fairly potent. So we have three options here, okay, that we're gonna smoke and decipher yep. what is the balance, the flavor profiles that we're getting, and uh, aroma, very important as well. But the key is balance of strength and complexity yeah. of flavor. So what we have here is a prototype that carries one full leaf, one full leaf, and a half Sweet. of second. Okay? This prototype here carries one full leaf of the Harrow, half a leaf of Viso, one full leaf of Seco. Okay. All right? This one here carries two leaves of the Harrow, quarter leaf, quarter leaf. Okay. All right. Same binder okay. and filler combo. Okay. That's not changing. Right. The combination of the filler and the amount is changing. Yep. All right. So you already tried half one one yep. with the Panatella. Mild to medium, creamy, light nuttiness, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay. We're not going to go straight into it with the two quarter quarter just yet. Okay. Okay. We're going to go with what I think would be the best one. Okay, first. To start with. To start with. Oh, I like it. All right. So we're going to go one Lajero, one Viso, one Seco. And that's this. Sweet. Right over here. See this one right here. Okay. So is this to you like how you start any project that you do, or is this um, different than how you start them? Well, I mean, we have to know what seed lines work with one another off of that. Corojo, Criollo, Habano 2000. Ecuadorian, Connecticut too as well, they work. And, and you're really familiar with these tobaccos on the table. Extremely familiar with these seed lines. Right. Extremely familiar. So the first thing, let's check the draw. Good sample, mm -hmm. good to go. Let's light that up. 
Okay. Stand back. This is one, one, half. I love this wrapper. It is like super buttery, soft, tight, visible seams, no veins. And yesterday, Danny, you were, you were just, we were going through your uh, bales of tobacco, just burning some of the visos, the arrows, and just focusing on aroma. Is that a starting place for you as well? That you would do, you were doing it for me because I had never used these Aromas tobaccos. are extremely important in that form, but the number one thing is taste. You know, it has mm -hmm. to taste right. You know, aroma for me is a bonus. You know, we don't blend off aroma. You sure. blend off flavor. You know, but those essences are extremely important as well. You notice on the retro here? the foot smoke off this. Though. The retro is... The retro has a little bit more body, but it's still smooth. The balance is still there. There's a little bit of a nice sweet spice as well, especially on the retro, off the bat. Yeah, it like... It's not like a full mouth coating, but it is like sweet, like honey almost. We'll go through the nose. Danny gives me shit because when I retrohale, you can't see like the fire breathing dragon. <sighs> I'm soft. <laughs> like that. So very important at this stage to use that because that's gauging the strength and the palate is gauging mm. flavor and the balance of those flavors. So we have to incorporate these two senses at this stage heavily. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep on smoking this because you kind of want to get into five, ten minutes before mm -hmm. you could get an idea, you know, on where the balance is on this cigar, this prototype. I want to ask about, um, we were talking about the difference between feeling pepper, tasting pepper, which you were saying action versus Smell. For smell. Because on some puffs, I can taste pepper on my tongue. I was inhaling that. <clears throat> and on other ones, it's like I feel it through the nose, but more of like a strength. So it's not like a defined pepper, it's just strength or body. What? what? How do you differentiate those? I don't like the action. You don't like the tongue. I don't want, I don't want all that. Now, is that because of the freshness of this? Well, it, blend you're using a lot more aggressive tobacco in this blend we're, we're right. going, we went from a half to now a whole leaf of the hair we didn't even go three quarter mm -hmm. okay because that is in itself extremely difficult to, to to taste a quarter of a leaf more right right, right. So, i'm gonna I'm, i know what i'm looking for but the, the drastic change between a half to a one is something that a lot of people can, can can pick up on, and that's why we went double, so you can really pick right. up on it. But the action is something that I don't want right off the bat. If it's subtle, okay, I'm okay with. But this is subtle. But the action's there, but it's subtle. Yeah. On the retro hill, that's when you start really tasting it, and that's why I'm gauging the strength, and I'm tasting the complexity and the balance. If there's complexity and balance, if there's none, we won't even try to smoke it. We can put it right down. Right. It's not even there. There's definitely complexity in there's, this. There's like complexity 100%. to this one. Yeah. And it's very interesting because as soon as you start going down the cigar, it starts opening up even more to you. Now tell me this. If I'm tasting action on my tongue of pepper now, is action something that can decrease with time? Yes. Is it guaranteed to decrease with time or it, or it's, um, it's something that you just have to check in on? Something that will kind of just dial down a little bit. Okay. But once it's blended correctly, you know, we like to get dessert-like textures. Right. And we understand that this is a young cigar. We understand that. But there's something beyond that we're looking for. And that comes with the retrohaling and tasting depth, yeah. balance of the strength. Okay. That is important. Depth and balance of strength. And that's what we're looking at now. It's very interesting because this is a Connecticut shade wrapper on this and there's still balance. It doesn't feel like the Lajero is like totally washed it out and it's like 
leaning to the complete opposite side, which I would have thought you jam pack a really thin cigar like a Panatella with Lajero and you put a Connecticut wrapper on it, it would be atrocious, but it's not. Why? Finding balance. Yeah. Finding prototypes. And, and it's these other two complement fillers that are also helping balance that out. Absolutely. It yeah. plays, a huge and the plays a significant role. That's why we just are now focused on this because if we change this and now start changing binders and, and you have a comp you have a whole other project on your hands. Right. So you, right. you want to get to know what you're working and really dial in and know what actions they provide. Instead of let me grab these tobaccos and this one and that one from this country and then you have to, and then you, yeah. you can't hone in. Honing in right now is important. Yeah. And that's why we're only these five leaves, five different, you know, types yeah. of tobacco right here in front of us. But this is all you could need right here to start. Right. With just different combinations in the filler. And we only did this to half. Imagine we start breaking it down into quarters. How now how many you more variations make, you, you can make, come up with at that point. Right. With these five tobaccos, you could have a whole line of cigars. You could have a significant amount. That tastes completely different because of the usage of percentages of leaf, ratios. Of, of ratios of filler. 100%. Now you get a little little dazzle with where this one's at. Mm -hmm. It's burning great. I mean, look at that. You know? It's burning beautifully. Finer, great condition. All right, so what was, this, what was the first one we smoked? Two, one, one half. Oh, that's what we just smoked, okay. Yeah, this is one half one. So one leaf Lajero, half a leaf Viso, one leaf of Seco. Correct. And Lajero, Viso, Seco is an order from top to bottom of the plant. Correct. So this one should be more mild. Mm, we're going one, one half. Now we're going one half one, so you would think. Because you're increasing the Seco, which is a more mild. I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about depth at this point because i already know it's going to be bolder than half we already have one lajero in there right my, right now I'm, I'm thinking of depth and balance which to me um viso brings a lot of depth and balance yeah, so you're in the middle, where the seco could strength. not work well as a full leaf can give you an action of combustion as right. well i like working and adding a little bit more you know i find myself adding a lot of viso mm -hmm. to, to, to kind of fill in at times Now this one here could still be something that you may like more than the other one. Because Ooh, again, right off the bat, it's already different. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, Danny DeFabio steps up into the plate. It's like, um, I don't know if like cedar is the right word, but it's just a little lighter, more tame on the palate. Clean, really clean. That's like two, two puffs in. Now, on the retro hill, I get less body. Even on a powder, I get less body. It's milder. It, it is less, like, dense. Is, is what comes to my mind. That like dark, rich, dense stickiness that I would attribute to Lajero maybe is pulled down a little bit. The action on the tongue pulled down a little bit. So that full leaf of Viso, now in this is half. Mm -hmm. So interesting. We're talking about a minor, a minor tweak. Not as minor as a quarter, but- That's a major tweak in a way because it's the you're same going from a half to a full. But in, in the course of we're still using the five same tobaccos. From that perspective, yes. From a, a blending cigars all the time, major tweak. From a we have the five same tobaccos on the table, minor tweak. Minor tweak. And major taste difference. Yes. Now. Different cigar. Different cigar. What's your depth on this, though? It's not, not as deep as the first one. Thin is not the right word, but it. The, the flavor doesn't stick with me as well, once I blow out, it kind of dwindles away where this one stayed and kept building, building, building. I don't feel like this is complex at this point in time. I'm gonna keep smoking this cigar more, but I can tell you this right now that one half one, 
may not be it for me. Yeah. For me. But it's still, for me, a mild to medium cigar, whereas I think this one is pushing the envelope of almost getting into medium world. This one? Yeah. The first one. The yeah. one, one half. Yeah, no, I think it's medium. This one half, not, one, definitely not less than medium. It's it, th there's a little bit more body there than the half one one that we normally do. Mm -hmm. This one half one does carry more body, but not more complexity. No, d yeah. You know what I mean? There is this like breadiness on this. There's something there. It's like that's the finish on my mouth. It's a creamy texture, which is not yeah. bad. Yeah. Which is not bad. This could be a very useful prototype. Yeah. Could be a great morning stick. Absolutely. But if we're looking to create depth. Right. Complexity. I don't think this is going to fit the bill. Once we have already had tried that one. Yep. <clears throat> See, I like trying the ones that I know for a fact might be the one first. Because when I smoke it and I smoke it and I smoke it. And then I pull another one. Yeah. At that point, I can say, this one doesn't even come close. Yeah. The standards are already so far high up and the excitement is so far up here. Like, oh my God, that I'd, I would smoke those more than I would that one to make sure. That it really is. That it really is. Yeah. So at this point, I'll start smoking these. I'll start smoking these more. Smoke that. And I, I, at one point in time, I'll be like, you know what? No, this is, yeah. I, but I know right now, this is not going to be the one for me. Yep. I could tell you that right now. You know, mm -hmm. it can be a still mild to medium body cigar, but it doesn't have depth. Yeah. I, I mean, I fully agree with that. But, but look at what's happening here. Okay. This is the second prototype, one half one, right? Yep. It's still burning. Yep. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, there's not a lot of, bad here right we're, we're now in preference mode okay um, it's still burning mm -hmm. correctly draws correct mm -hmm. okay all right now on to number three here we go what do you have cooked up two lajero quarter diesel quarter seco okay an overload yeah okay Thank you. The size is so stunning. And Danny, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the original size. Yeah. And similar tobaccos or? Different. Different tobaccos, but same size and presentation correct. as the original blend. Correct. Okay, so now we're on two quarter quarter. Okay. Another extreme. The idea of blending, maybe that's intentional why you did it, but the idea of blending in extremes has a definite place on the blending table, right? Yeah, because you, you go to this extreme and you can start dialing it back. Yeah, yeah. Because you know how far you went. And that was, that was completely too far. Now, one problem that we might encounter mm -hmm. is what you just encountered. What? The cigar went out. Yep. Why? Too Off much. Too much Lajero? Like, because it's wet, too much moisture content in it? Too oil? Many, too much oil content, yeah. you know? There's a quarter seco. <laughs> Which is the combustion agent, right? In Which the is a leaf that's responsible for flavoring combustion. So now we completely neglected, oh, well, almost completely neglected this, this cigar. Quarter, yeah. With seco, a fundamental component to enjoying a great cigar is making sure that it burns correctly. Right. Right? So, mm, I can already tell you that you're going to have to touch this sucker up quite a bit. You get the spice off the bat? Mm -mm. Me neither. Why? <laughs> Why didn't that happen? <laughs> Do you feel like you have to pull more mm -hmm. to get some burn action? Yep. I'm not a fan of that. You want to know why would that lead to? You want to combust the cigar. Mm -hmm. You want to smoke the cigar. You're going to puff on that cigar and you don't get what you want. You're going to puff harder. And then what happens is you're going to distort the flavor profile because it spikes the temperature. 
This is a very flavorful leaf, okay? It's flavor and aroma. You're starting to see that off Ooh. the bat, it's not really as spicy, but we still have to wait a little bit. Yeah. To make that assumption right off the bat. Let's just wait and see. Because I have a feeling that the, the, the power is gonna kick up a little bit on this one. Okay. It is, it's just, Looking at it on paper, I would have assumed something different though from the start. Obviously, we haven't, this is how far in we are. You gotta smoke but it. But you gotta smoke it. It's just crazy that that one, the first one started off very louder. strong, louder, right? And then, what this, and then what happened? And then it tapered a little bit. But it, but it kept a nice body heavy depth to it, but it tapered the, the action. Died off. Mm -hmm. So this could have the reverse. Mm -hmm. Could. Dad, if you look. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go through that and have to touch up the cigar because it went out? At this point in time, this cigar can be giving me a flavor that I can be enjoying, but the smoke output is not to my liking because you overloaded yeah. it with so much oils and saturation right, that it still leaves. could taste, you know, this is not bad. I could smoke this, but the action correct on the burn, right. the draw, cigars going out. Even if the flavor's there, the that's one component of, of a good cigar. So do you think it's safe to say at this point that you could see people getting frustrated with this action? 100%, yeah. That's something that is taken under heavy consideration. In fact, you have to. Yeah take that under heavy consideration. So have you ever landed on a blend where you're like, the flavor is there, but I, but I can't nail the, but the construction's not working, the combustion's not working, All so the, it, it, it can't it, happen. It happens. it happens. So now the cigar, it can't be that blend. It happens. It happens a lot and it breaks my heart because yeah. you're there touching it up and, and liking like, the, the taste, flavor. Oh my yeah. God, it's there. It's, oh my God, oh my God. But it's, the consumer's not gonna enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And that's everything is the consumer, mm -hmm. you know? So flavor, okay, the balance, depth, aroma, the burn, mm. the draw, everything has to be in order, okay? Yep. Now for me, at this point in time, I'm done with this. I'm putting that down. And look, okay. at, look, look at what had happened here, okay? Look at what happened. Let's, uh, we'll just knock the ash off here. You tell me. <laughs> which one you like which the most? Which one did I enjoy the most? Huh? Mm -hmm. Which one? One. The first one. The first one. I took it down. I took it down further. I wanted that. I preferred that. My, my palate was accepting that. There you go. Boom. So, you would take... You're pushing this blend along, right? Mm-hmm. What's, what's your next step? You've done your initial prototypes. Mm -hmm. Okay, first one, uh, the one, one half, I'm liking this. I'm writing all this stuff down. And then more prototypes of one are being made that you're gonna start resting just to keep smoking? Always. Maybe we something we, we missed, mm -hmm. you know? So we write down all these prototypes, okay? Write down the actions. I can already tell you two quarter quarter, yeah, it ain't gonna work. Out the window, the see flavor. you later. Yep. You know, bye, boom. Now, what? we narrowed it down to two. Yeah. Did it burn right? Yep. Was the draw correct? Yep. Okay. Which one had more depth and complexity and flavor? First one. The first one. Yep. Lijero. We made the same. Yep. We just bumped up on the viso and took a little bit from the seckle. Yep. Out. Maintain half a leaf. Yep. Whereas two quarter quarter was just not enough seckle. Right. Right, for, for combustion. So this is the winner, in our opinion, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. here, right now, off the bat. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we would like to age these prototypes longer, you know? But since it's so evident off the bat, it's a no-brainer. 
number one is the ticket. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And I, I just love that there's a clear difference once we started, did the, the big changing ratios with the last one. And it's like, it, t it tastes good, but it doesn't work. Correct. And then the first two is like, what they you, both work. What you just but said. But I prefer the flavor of the first one. What you just said, I say a hundred times in a year. Yeah. Good flavor. It just didn't work. <laughs> right. Right. Because we're not just solely focusing on the flavor. It's the flavor. It's the complexity of it. Dessert-like textures, the draw, the burn. You know, so a lot of factors that we have to weigh and prioritize. Yeah. And all of them mean the same. All of them have the same amount of weight, but flavor and complexity. Flavor and complexity. Yep, and balance. And balance. And dessert-like. Right. Yeah. And yeah, Delicious. there's a lot, <laughs> but <laughs> flavor, balance, and depth, you know, is, 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 wow. is the main things, man. I love and how different us. each one of those were and how they are noticeable. Like even to someone who doesn't have the train palette you have or the blending experience you have, like I can still pick up a lot of the differences. Now you notice now how I was the first- putting names to what I'm thinking in my head and tasting. So do you notice the first one, how you say, wow, there's some spice there, mm -hmm. but there's some sweetness there. There's a yeah. little bit of, 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 of dessert like there. Okay. Is your palate clean right now? No. No? You tasted three of them. Right. Right? Light up number one again. Okay. So much easier to smoke than number three. <laughs> Try and retro now. Right There's now. definitely not the pepper and strength that was on it the first time we lit it. No. Wait, which it was also kind of tapering at the point that we stopped. But that's also the tricky part. If you smoked three, three of them, and you come back, it's like your palate's it's not what it was when you first. You're, you, it, it's accepting it at this mm -hmm. point. It makes you want to keep smoking. Mm -hmm. So now at this point, I wouldn't declare this a winner just yet. That's a challenger. Okay, meaning? Uh, I might have to. Quarter. Quarter micro changes. Yeah. So I'm eager to kind of see with taking a quarter viso and putting it here. So you're at one, three quarter, three quarter. What about, here's another thing I was thinking. I'm curious what you would think. Half, one and a half, half. One and a quarter Lajero. Okay. Uh, three quarter viso, half seco. That's prototypes that you can consistently right. keep on making mm -hmm. to, to potentially beat that one out. Now, is your palate clean now? It's back, like I'm tasting more of this now. You're tasting After more of that. five or six puffs of it. You're, now you're, I feel like I'm back in this cigar. You're back in that cigar. Yeah. That one has undoubtedly, mm. undoubtedly saying, out of these three, this is the best one so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's great. It's great, people. Dude. Well, We're in the, in the kitchen with Danny DeFabio, <laughs> the head chef at Rodriguez Cigars. There we go. <laughs> uh, dude, this is awesome. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for walking us through this. This is, this is really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit uh, behind the process, behind a very large process where this is just a small glimpse mm -hmm. into it. The fact that these five tobaccos even made it here is years mm -hmm. and that they were selected by you to meet your standards and now it's just about yeah playing with the ratios and doing everything we did here a lot more so thank you oh thank you there you go a little blending uh seminar for you guys with danny de fabio rodriguez cigars uh this has been great stay tuned we got some really cool stuff coming um some new projects that i can't wait to announce so until next time happy smoking